Hello, it is I, Dr. Brian Lorgon 111, and welcome back to Rogue Legacy 2. Last time, I was trying to figure out why I was interacting with the chimney, and it's because this character is clumsy. Objects break on touch. Uh, this is basically a way in the docks to see what happens when you interact with furniture. I can't stand on it, and it breaks whenever I try to touch it, except for the chimney is invincible. Apparently, uh, she was just eating something. I didn't get a good look at what she was eating. Um, apart from that, we also have a Master Relic, which extends our burn, so guys are going to burn a whole lot uh, when we hit them with the frying pan. And I've got Spore Burst, which is kind of fun. And let's just get right into it and have a good run. With this character... Is there anything in particular I would like to accomplish with this character? This is a fantastic question. Right, objects break on touch. Okay, furniture. While I discover if there's things I want to do with this character, <laughs> let's go ahead and just try a couple of rooms to get a feel for how they work. Uh, you know what? I could try rooms in a more difficult area than this, though. Let's go to... Greenland Plateau. I've been getting various stuff there. Let's try starting there. And I've got three stews ready to brew. So if I need some HP back... Oh, I'm going to break all this furniture and I don't want to. Alright, I broke some of it. Oops. Oh boy. Uh, there we go. I'm kicking you with my spin kicks, as one does on the Resonant Willow. That was a piece of furniture. Hmm. I was able to stand on top of it. Uh, hold the phone. Hmm. This deserves more uh, discovery. Okay, I see the mana over there, so I'm going to go ahead and do this. And then pick up the mana. Interesting. Hmm. So I was able to stand on some furniture, which I wasn't expecting. So let's try... Let's go find another piece of furniture that I could stand on and try to stand on it. Uh, standable furniture might be non-trivial to encounter. Oh boy. Oh cool, I can knock you into spikes. That makes me quite content. Good job. Me. Uh, fairy just lose no health. Yikes. I will be bad at this. Is there any chance I could do this? Um, I'm not up for that, and I'm trying to do some other science right now, so we will leave that behind. Alright, furniture I can stand on. These are not standable. Oops, so far as I know. Alright, um, if I were standable furniture, where would I be? I like just watching the guys burn, it's pretty fun. Oops, I did a double jump rather than a spin kick off of the thingy. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that was dumb. Uh, it's probably going to be a Risen here. I'm wrong. Let's, um, let's come up with a plan. Uh, I'm not sure what the plan should be yet, but we should come up with one. Alright, ah, right, I get crits from, uh, deflecting projectiles. But only for a short time. Yeah, looks like about two seconds that that thing lasts over my head. Uh, I, I, why did I go down there? That was dumb. <laughs> Alright, spin kick. Ouch, I need another spin kick. There we go. Spin kick. Oops. Ouch. Alright, managed to spin kick you. <laughs> um, I don't think there's anything else there. All right. Uh, health is a bit down, so I should totally do that. And then brew up a stew. Great. And there's also chicken, so that's great. Uh, let's spin kick you. And let's do a little bit. Okay, here's something I can stand on. Okay, I was not able to stand on it. So I wonder if that was a glitch, the other one I was standing on? I'm not sure. Hmm. 
I was totally standing on some furniture earlier, and I feel like it was probably a glitch. Oh, hey, Frosty. How would you like to become dead? I hope the answer was, I would like it very much, because that's what happened. Uh, all these chicken legs that I don't need right now, but it's fine. Okay, let's just get back to exploring. I think I'm done sciencing for the moment. Do you guys fly through walls? You do. Okay, so willows can fly through walls. That's important information. Ah, darn it. Alright. That can make them especially annoying. Uh, let's just eat another stew. I've got a few of them in my back pocket, and I might end up getting some more ingredients, as it were. There we go. Ingredients. Maximum soup. Um, this is a place where I would find the plant, I think? No, it's a- oh, right, because I've already found all the plants. Got it. So I can go- oh, darn it. Alright. Alright, so what are you? Wings that enable flight. And it costs 14 resolve. And I'm already below maximum resolve. Oh, I need to increase my weight capacity. Um, I think I choose not to take that. Okay, and now I need to worry about my weight capacity in general. Okay, so after this character, we need to buy some more whatever gives me more of that so my resolve will be higher, I guess. Although I did have a couple of um, relic traits in this build or whatever that... Ah, this is not going great. Crap. Darn it. No, that doesn't work against you. I'm in a lot of trouble. Uh, I played that poorly. There are too many things going on. You can break out of attacks early by dashing. Ooh, you can break out of attacks early by dashing. So if I have a slow attack animation, I could dash out of it. I think is what I just read. Okay. Um, which of these characters am I interested in? Blaze Bellow. I don't think I've seen that spell before. But I don't like getting knocked back. Gravity Beam, that's a very basic character. Yeah, let's choose you. Straightforward character. And what is... I guess I have no traits right now, so what is my current resolve? It's 151%. Alright. Nevertheless, it would be good to have more resolve. So what increases my maximum resolve then? Um, that's health and mana from a boss chamber. That's max weight capacity, which is related. This is weight class. Weight class is definitely related. Encumbrance limits. Since last time I did not go and take a look, and there's max weight capacity just overall. Alright, but I can't afford either of those, so I'm going to purchase a strength up, because those are always good. Um, yeah, I need to read about more of the mechanics than I never did. Okay, and sure enough, we're not touching, we're not breaking the chimney because we're not clumsy. Okay, so I have a gravity beam. Right, it holds me in midair. It takes a while to wind up, but then it's very good. And I have a shield that I always forget about. And this guy's attack animation is short, but if I attack dash... Yeah, I can't really tell. And you guys have something to say. You're enjoying yourself. Great. You specialized in foraging. You always knew when a shift would happen. So you take shifts that bring me close to Axis Monday. Cutting your time in half makes a filling quote is pretty easy. If anyone spoke to me about it, I'd lose my ability, so I was left in the dark for years. I only found out when someone got hurt. He broke the taboo and asked if I could shift him to the Citadel. Interesting. If someone just spoke up, I wouldn't have taken my gift for granted, and I could have helped so many more people. That's when I stopped being a farmer. Applied at the Stygian SETI. Could teach others, too. The moment I discovered I had the ability, I left the village. No one could use my talents anymore, so the rumor ended up being true after all. Don't let that ruin the moral of the story. I'm still not sure what the moral of the story was. 
Also, there were like hints that I wish to view again. In Erebus. Do I know where Erebus is? I don't know that I do. Fireplace against a wall. We'd have to throw a fireball at it. Lies in the canopy perched above the golden doors. And so that might be the one that's at the beginning. Something, something. Alright, and I want to try doing one of these. So let's enter this. And right, we get the option of taking some things. That's only until I... Extra invincibility is good. The other one's only until I take damage, and I'm definitely going to take damage. Okay, so extra invincibility, great. And over here... Don't want that. After taking damage, deal 100% more damage during the invincibility window. Yeah, that works well when my invincibility window is twice as good. Okay, so... This is a good damage-dealing character. Oh, wait, hold on. In combat scars, your score is based on how well you perform with all classes. Your stats are preset. Can the edge find empathies? Right, something, something. Okay. I broke the uh, food, and I didn't need to yet, but now it's done. No use crying over spilt milk, as they say. All right, I get extra damage while I'm in my recovery mode. So let's try to take advantage of that. Ah, darn it. I'm still not doing a great job here. I need to avoid more damage, I think. Alright, more guys are spawning, and I've forgotten about my gravity beam. Alright, let's use that. Great. Oh boy. Ouch. Uh, that killed me. Darn. I want to try it again. Uh, I did the beginning one, and that's not what I meant to do. Uh, is there a way to get out of here that doesn't involve just going all the way back through it? Um, oh, there is. Quit Scar Challenge. Thank you, game, for anticipating my failures. Okay, I wanted a simple start. Let's try this again. This time we'll get some different bonuses. Ivy Canopy, no thank you. That one's not bad, but let's uh, reroll. Okay, wall above, 50% health, deal 10% more damage. That's good. So I'm going to take that one. So that's 10% damage bonus. And then over here... Health drops restore more, but there's not going to be that many health drops. There's just two in there. Um, yeah, let's see what else I can get. Every five seconds, your next weapon attack deals 150% bonus magic damage to all nearby enemies. That sounds pretty good. Spin kicks. Yeah, let's try this. Every five seconds. Uh... I'll do something good. And so that just means I should spend a little bit more time trying to stay alive because every five seconds I will gain an edge. And don't break the things on the left and right hand side until you need to because there's chicken right there and I don't want it just yet. I'm going to wait until I need it. Okay. And I saw the uh, tether thing going off. And I need to remember that I can crit... All right, I'm gonna go ahead and eat that. All right, so far so good. Good crits. Uh, ouch. We still have food over on the side and I need it, so I'm gonna eat it. Ah, come on. Um, there we go. Ah, come on. Why does time go so slowly there? Oh, I did it! A simple start. 3 HP. Just survived. Challenge complete! Sir Kenny! Um, great. Final score, 37,000. You're rating A. I got an A. I deserve it. 
Okay, so what does it show up as over here now? Um, oh, learn about the scars of Erebus. Erebus is probably the entire world, I think. Uh, off to Erebus. Um, yeah, okay, so the... Oh, wait. A simple start. Difficulty rating 1. Score. Knight. A rank. Total score. Bronze score requirement. 45,000 points. So I need to bronze reward 100 souls. Right. Okay, so I need to do this with a bunch of different classes. Got it. Got it, got it, got it. Okay. Um, we'll earn score with a bunch of different classes. Okay. So every time I'm a different class, I should go and try to do that thingy. He just threw a pizza at the living safe, I think. Uh, and it was sitting on top of the living safe. The pizza slice. Um, Alright, I did not need that right now. Let's save the other furniture. Where do I want to go with this character? Um... This steel feels like about the right level of difficulty for where we're at. So let's do some of this, and let's remember that we can always go and get... Actually, yeah, while I'm here, let's just go ahead and unlock the teleporter now. This is the piece of furniture I was standing on with my clumsy character earlier. So if I step over here, this is the screen where Halfus and Bareth uh, live, and so now that teleporter will be unlocked, and so if I choose to want to go fight that boss later on, I'll be able to just teleport there. And... Oh! Uh, I did not see you coming out of the floor. You're very sneaky. Um, there's a chest. Through here. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Thank you. Okay. Uh, oh boy. Uh, I will need that in a moment. Thank you, chicken leg. Alright, so chicken legs heal 60, it appears. Alright, will this... You guys bounce me really high, and that's what I struggle with. The bouncing. Especially when there's other stuff going on in the screen. Alright, good job against the ward. They usually get me. Uh, I didn't even see you. You're also, yeah, you're hard to see. You do make a noise. And so I should try to use that to my advantage. Um, Alright. <laughs> Let's go. Oh boy. Now I see the willow, and I see the fact that there are spikes on the ceiling, and so it's a trap trying to kill the will-o'-wisp guys. I want to bring them over here if I want to kill them. There we go. Um, in the snow, it'll be harder to see the zombies coming, I think. Uh, this will give me an opportunity to look at a whatchamadoodle. It's the wings of flight again. Let's just remember that they are here on the map, up and right of the boss. If I want the flight wings, I can get them. And I don't see any cracks in the wall there. And so I guess the next place I want to go is... Oh boy! Up here. I see the uh, arrow trap thingies. And so mostly trying to just avoid that. Oh boy! I don't have anything to get rid of mid-sized projectiles. All right, that was really tight quarters. Let's just get out of here. So many perils. Uh, sure. There was a chest on that screen that I missed. It's okay. All right, lamps. You need to go. And... I also need to go. Aha! Hey! Chicken leg. Nice. Alright, I did get the crit, but it was not enough to kill you, and then you got me. Uh, you're not the bad guy. Where's the bad guy? There he is.
Okay, and I need to attack that from the side, probably. And I'm gonna need to do it again. There we go. Sure. Great. Do I have a particular goal? I mean, I guess finding the boss in here could be useful, too. Let's go ahead and set off the arrow trap and watch what it does. I guess it takes a while to reload, so that's my opportunity. Is there something hidden in the ceiling? I think there might be something hidden in the ceiling. Eh, maybe not. I want to look one more time. I don't see any cracks. This doesn't have an exclamation point, which I think means, yes, we have finished all of the journal entries in this area. Uh, that's the wave of protection thingy. But I do have the ability to re-roll. I'm not interested in that one. I would prefer my gravity beam, but let's re-roll and see. Oh! Blaze of Wisdom! This was the thing that the Archmage was going to have. Toggleable skill crits after two seconds. Uh, let's try that one out. Braze Bellow is its name. Okay. Uh, we'll wait until we actually encounter an enemy to try it out and use it. Oh, wait, I just... I'm done. <laughs> uh, I guess I can just dash across this. Um, sure. Alright. And you can just toggle it on and off so you can use it for as long or as little as you like. Uh, does it go through walls, and does it say if it goes through walls? It does not say about going through walls. I'll have to pay more attention to that. Uh, when the time comes. Got a crit there. Good for me. Alright, I see you. And I need to remember that I am capable of void dashing through your projectiles. However, you weren't dead yet. There we go. Oh, and he dropped some iron and stuff. Ore is what it's called. Great. Um, is there anything hidden up here? It looks like there'd be something hidden up here, doesn't it? Uh, weird geometry. I can just stand here. Can I look up? I can. I don't see any cracks, so maybe not. Um, all right, you go bouncing off over there, that's fine. Uh, now you're coming my way. You move so swiftly once you get into that mode. Aqua Brace. Ah! Oh boy. Ah, darn it. All right, well, I did kill him. So that's something, I guess. Yikes. Where am I going on the map? Um, elsewhere, I'll meet you over there. Okay, we left the chest behind in this room. This time I'd like to not leave it behind. Alright, I got some kind of crit for something over there. I'm not sure if he was vulnerable when he's dashing at me or something. I don't see a thing over his head. I'm not sure what happened there. And I'm not sure, there might be random crits as well. I definitely, I need to spend a bit of time reading up on the mechanics. Of all the things in this game. Because there's a lot of things. Okay. Clamps. It's time for you to die. Aqua Bracer, you too. Ugh. Darn it. <sighs> oh dear. Um, spiky balls, you guys can also go away. Um, I can probably hit you from below. Yes. Alright, so that's good. Good. There is a chest up here. I see it. Okay. Oh, but I'm not high enough. Oh, but I could... I could bounce off of this guy. There we go. Alright, good job. Sometimes an enemy is a help, rather than just a hindrance. I can hit you from below, so I prefer to do that before I open up the door. Oh wait, I heard the wisp before I saw the wisp. 
and then I react poorly, and you, you know the score. Okay, I am desperately low on health. No dashing, lose no health. Um, I tried this before and failed at it. I'm gonna try it again. No dashing. No dash. Darn it. I failed at exactly the same point. That's really hard to do. Okay, I'm down to 15 HP. This is the boss room, though. This was terrific to find right at this moment. Because I can get some free chests for some extra money. And then I can teleport back to somewhere easy such as the entrance to the citadel where there's furniture and some easy enemies and maybe I'll be able to pick up a chicken leg, etc, etc, etc. And I also want the coin. Because I am greedy. It's a chicken leg! Things are already going my way. More chicken legs for me, please. Um, I could kill these guys. Hooray. I can also kill that and get a chicken leg. Even better. Um, what else we got? We got furniture aplenty. Uh, let's skip that room for now. Yeah. Okay. Stay out of the fire. A wise man once said, time limit 10, lose no health. Um, and lose no health, but a time limit. Let's go for it. I lost health. Darn it. Let's at least take a look. It has a bit more platforming. Yeah, I just gotta get better at the platforming. This is the long and short of it. I would like to have more HP before I go in there. But that could be fun. Oh boy! And this is not the way to get more HP! Where's all the chicken legs when you need them? Uh, where was that, however? Okay, I see where it is on the map. Because I would like to come back there. And try to get more empathy or whatever. Or more red ether, or I forget what the reward is in those places. Um, alright. You are firing at me. Let's let the fireballs go away. And then dash crit. And go hunting for chicken legs. Oh boy. It's a chicken leg! Just what we were hunting for. Uh, dash crit! Ouch. Don't see any cracks in the wall. Ouch. Alright, these guys are very low health. Or my strength has gone up. Because I was upgrading it. That helps a lot, too. Yeah, I'm one-shotting a number of these guys in the Citadel. And that works for me, because one-shotting them, I get two HP back for each kill. So if I can manage to string together a bunch of kills, and occasionally pick up a chicken leg, then I could be in good shape. Uh, let's at least see what's available to us. Blocks up to two attacks. Consumes mana per block. Deal and take 100% more damage. And I don't get to reroll these, apparently? Guess not. Um, do I want this one? Not really. Let's hold on to my resolve and see if we can find other choices. Um, hello. Alright, no longer one-shotting enemies in this room. Thanks for the coin. <laughs> so worthwhile. Where am I going next? Up and then right. We can do that together. And let's see. Double jumps are really not helping me traverse that very much faster. So I haven't gone down here yet. Oh, I thought I had time to do that. I was incorrect. Uh, this room looks large and open. Felt like there were going to be way more enemies in it than there are. 
guess I'm okay with how it turned out. Ugh. And I still managed to take damage, because I'm just that good. You thought I couldn't do it, but I did it. Alright, I have extra mana, so let's use some. Okay, I cannot turn around while I'm wielding this. Oh, darn. You can dash in midair and still gain momentum. I thought he was going to fall all the way to the ground, and then I was going to go down after him, but it didn't work out that way. So I guess next we'll go right and down. Ugh. And I think I've still, like, never successfully blocked an attack. <laughs> so one of these days... One of these days I should try doing that. Today is not that day. Um, oh, this I do want. But let's at least look at this. There's something new I could learn about, but I really want this. I'm going to take this one. Okay. We're going to get lots of food drops. Let's go kill some more enemies and get some food drops. Would you like to drop me a chicken leg, good sir? He did not. Um, let's do that. You're almost dead. Okay. And so I can... Ah, oh, darn it. There's a, another guy in here. Ah, oh, and I didn't get my crit. <laughs> I'm frustrated. If this guy weren't here, I wouldn't have been as thrown off. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Oh, it's another commander guy. Okay. Oh, and he has a shield, so I have to knock down his shield first. Which is going to be non-trivial, but at least I've managed to get another enemy out of the way. I wonder if my spell hits his shield multiple times. Yeah, it does. Okay, so now he is vulnerable. Uh, no, he's become invulnerable again. Okay, there we go. Ah, come on. Nah, now I'm out of mana. Darn it. Alright, so I have to get a bunch of hits on him in succession to bring down his shield before it regenerates. Now I can hit him. There we go. Okay, well, we eventually did it. I haven't been getting my chicken leg drops. I demand chicken legs. I was promised chicken legs. Also, according to the map, there is a way to go left and then up. So let us... Oh! Go that way! Ugh. I was jumping to get off the spikes, and I jumped right into the spiky ball. So... Good room layout design. Surprise me. Game. You accomplish your goal of trying to kill the player. Well... Trying to deal damage to the player, at least. Guess they haven't accomplished the goal of trying to kill me just yet. Alright, I command more chicken legs. Map, tell me where to go. Up, right, up. So, oops, there is a possible something there. Alright, I haven't gone this way. There's a chicken leg, finally. Uh, lots of enemies in this room, which means lots of chicken leg opportunities. There's a pizza. It's not a chicken leg, but we'll take it. It's worth 146 HP, so pizzas are worth more than chicken legs. Interesting. I definitely need to read some about the mechanics of this game, because there's still so much I do not know. Okay. Still lots of eyeballs. So let's kill the scouts. 
I see this commander dude. And I'm choosing to go after the eyeballs first. Ouch. Okay. Now we can go after commander dude and watch out for his boomerang. Chakrams. Got him. And he dropped a chicken leg. I have 268. It gives me 60. Okay. So even from a commander, a chicken leg seems to be worth the same amount as a chicken leg dropping from a non-commander enemy. And I wonder if the pizzas also have... There was something for upgrading in the manor. How much, like, a food bonus is worth to you. Um, and so I wonder if pizzas and... What he calls both upgrade the same way. So is there like a chest up there? Yes. So if I go up the left hand side, I get to a chest. You know what? I'm gonna leave that behind. Uh, there's also a chest at the top of this room where I would have to parkour off of the spiky ball to get there. Uh, how much of it would I have to do? Not much. Uh, I think I used my double jump too early there. Let's try that again. Ah, uh, I wasn't quite there. Alright, I definitely need practice with this parkour, so we'll give it another go. There we go. Okay, and then from here, I think going to the right is new rooms. Yes. No chicken leg drop there, sadly. So yeah, was that a random crit? Like, it showed up in red with the 74. Oh, boy. I tried to recover. I failed. Ah, uh, there's too many spiky balls there. I don't like this. Also, let's try this. Uh, I'm gonna have to review the video. Not sure what all happened there. Maybe I blocked part of the damage. I'm looking for cracks in the walls, but I don't see any. Looks like there's a way to go down to the right. So let's explore. Looking for chicken legs in all the right places. Hey, we found the boss room. Free money. Uh, there is a teleporter and there's ways to go. That's going to take us out to the Axis Mundi. This brings us to an easy chest for some more free money. And I guess there'll be more furniture out here. I'm still just kind of trying to get up to... Uh, maximum health once again. There's a chicken leg and a pizza. Okay, we're at maximum health. So now... Could this character fight Hoffus and Baroneth? Like, I think I want to uh, do some more exploring first. Um... And there's the other boss. Let's go north of here. It's a little bit risky. Because we'll be going back into the Karuglian Forest or whatever it's called. Kerguelian Plateau. And there's dangerous enemies here. But I'm back at max health. Let's save the furniture for the way back out. Oh, hey! Uh, that's a good thingy, I think. When below 50% health, deal more damage. Honorable death. It would slightly reduce my max health, but 20% more damage during a boss fight could be really good. Let's take it. It did bring me down to 400. Okay, uh, but with that, let's go try Halfus and Bareth again. I don't think I'm gonna be able to pull it off. Um, oops, wrong teleporter. But I could definitely use the practice. And who knows, maybe something amazing will happen. I know how to dodge their giant bone attack now, in theory. I'm a little bit stronger than I was before. Once I get both of them on the screen, that's probably the ideal time to use my uh, 
Ah, darn it. Okay. I just said I know how to dodge that, but I don't know when it first comes out what's going to happen, apparently. And you put uh, bones out in both directions, okay? Okay. Then I walked into you, though. I took melee damage. Alright, he's calling for help from his brother. Ah, oh, darn it. I went right into that. Okay. Now I want to use my spell. Oh, wait. Alright, I did a good job dodging that. Uh, let's go ahead and... Okay, now I can hit both of you. Nope. No problem. Uh, okay. Oh, boy. Uh, I was standing inside of him, and so I took melee damage. I wonder if I could, like, spin jump off of their heads for most of the battle. It hadn't really occurred to me. I'm not especially good at the spin jumps. Um, or if I were a Valkyrie, I wonder if I could kind of pogo on top of their heads me. All enemy attacks can be fully avoided. If you're having trouble, practice dodging without fighting. That's useful. Um, and also just good to know in terms of game design. All right, I did get a bunch of money. Uh, let's see, this guy, 50% magic damage, 50% magic capacity, less health. Compulsive gambling, right. Values swing wildly. Cartographer knows where the chests are. Spin kicks deal more damage, but it's a ranger. Uh, compulsive hoarder. All relics are twin relics when possible. And it's a barbarian, we like the barbarian. So that seems pretty good. I don't think I got any new equipment. And I wanted to work on my equip up. Max weight capacity, yeah. So let's spend some money on that. I'll spend all my money on that, apparently. And I'm a new, yeah, while I'm thinking about it, I'm a new class. And this shouldn't take all that long. What do you got to say? This is a fancy way of saying hello. Buongiorno. Alrighty. Whatever. Alright, I want to try doing this thingy with a different class. And so, we'll bookend the episode. I like that one a lot, so we're going to do this so we can dash all around. And over here, uh, spindle, crits. Max 8, no, I don't like either of those. Let's re-roll. Extra invincibility time. Or weapon combo. Hmm. I think I need the invincibility time. Okay. Let's take a shot with our barbarian and see what we can do in this place to earn more points with more classes. Something, something, something dark side. All right, I see the skeleton bullets. There's the chicken leg that I don't want just yet. Actually, I probably do. Ah, uh, that chicken leg did not seem as valuable as I was hoping. Also, what was my spell? It's score burst, got it. Um, that could be useful. That could be useful again. I don't have mana to do it again, though. All right, I'm strong. Okay, just gotta time my attacks. Oh right, I forgot all about my crazy poison blast that I could just hit everybody with. Let's do that. Ah, uh, don't dash into them though, that's foolish. Dash past them, that's not so foolish. One might even call it smart. Maybe. Oh boy, no boy. No, I dashed right into you and died. Okay. Uh, I have a better sense of how to run this character now. Oh, but now they're going to change their different bonuses and things. Uh, Lotus Petal is more of that. Charge the necklace. Make the next cast free. No, not interested. Twin Obelisk. Skill crits. 
could become super crits. That sounds pretty great. Uh, magic break is not as important. Let's get my weapon crits, which is just standing on the ground, which I'll be doing most of the time, as often becoming super crits. Which then I'll be able to discern, perhaps, if the... Uh, and health drops, no. Boxing bell, combos, hmm. Let's keep rolling, though. Every five seconds, yeah. Yeah, let's do this. Okay, so we might have some super duper duper crits. Um, all right. So, try this again. Hundred twenty-two, and it came in purple. All right, I saw it with my eyeballs. All right, I see the other chicken leg is down there. Okay, I want to get crits. Uh, do we need the chicken leg? Not quite yet. Now we do. Here's one. Good. Super crit. Super duper crit. Whatever. Um. Okay, we're doing better this time. I'm also kind of ready for the enemy set. I do want the chicken leg. Okay, and... Sure, we'll wear you down a little bit. There's the crit. 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 You guys are in the air, so you're harder to crit. Ouch. Darn it. Oh, boy. I died again. I can totally do that. I'm doing it one more time. I picked the wrong one. <laughs> Quit the scar challenge. Yes. Alright, here we go. Simple start. With a barbarian. We're totally doing it. Give me something good. Uh, yes. Dashing poisonous cloud. Absolutely. It's a shame that these two doors are as far apart from each other as there are, and that there's so much animation time picking up these things. I just want to pick my two things and go. Uh, extra damage while on the ground. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. So, poison cloud. Don't forget to use the poison cloud and stand on the ground. Great. Okay, and the first guy is going to appear over here. Okay, he's dead. There's a chicken leg. Try not to touch a chicken leg just yet. Poison cloud. Didn't manage to hit anybody. There we go. Now we're getting poisoned. Now we're playing with poison. Great. Skill crit. Poison. I don't need the uh, whatever yet. Nice. Okay, that hurt a little bit. Great. These are a great set of upgrades. Uh, poison. Like that. Ouch. Poison. Poison. Alright, one guy down. Poison. Oops. Poison. Okay. You go down. Poison you guys. Poison you. Uh, poison doesn't deal enough damage. Ouch. I'm almost dead. Don't die. I won. Yay! Okay, we did it. A simple start. A plus. Good job, Sir Teddy. And I got a hundred uh, whatchamacallits, which means I might be able to spend them on something. Unbreakable will increases max level. All right, that's not all that important. Display your true power increases max level. I would be able to buy more strength things. That could be interesting. Infinite knowledge increases max level. Master skill, max level for these things. More equipment weight. And then buy more things to unlock. Um, yeah, absolute strength. Let's buy it. Okay. And so... Does that mean if I go back to the manor... That now what had previously been maxed out original strength thingy 
which was, yeah, it was 7 to 10, and now it's 7 of 12. Cool. So I'll be able to purchase more of those. Okay. Um, yeah, we've definitely done enough for today. I hope, as always, that you guys are having a great day, and I will see you again soon for more Rogue Legacy 2, where perhaps I will know more by the time I return. For now, bye-bye.